Hello, everyone's, everyone's, everyone's. We are here. We are back with another episode of Is My Point Valid? Yes, indeed. I am Brandon D. Stocker. And I am Camille A. Stocker. And we are the Stocker Family Values as a collective. Yes, we are. Um, yes. So we're going to go ahead and get into this episode. Um, I know y'all probably wondering about the mags, but we're going to get into that. Right now, let's start it out with, what you know good, baby? All right. So last week, book readers, huh. I was telling y'all about I was reading Training, Training School for Negro Girls by Camille Acker. I haven't finished it yet. Been kind of slow, but I have been reading um this book with a lot of authors in it who have like these little um stories called Black Enough by Ibi Zobo Boy, I think, but it's a young adult book, so I'm just checking it out to see you know what it's about. Um the story I read last night, it was based in Houston, it's talking about 59 in the church and a mega pastor. It was like, <laughs> okay, all right. But, um, yeah, so that's what I'm on right now. Black Enough and Still Training School for Negro Girls. Um, also, Embrace the Queen Within is now virtual. We are changing it from being into a place to virtual. Absolutely. It is still September 3rd. Um, it is still for the ages of 12 through 18. And if you do have a daughter, a niece, a, a sister, friend, like if you know somebody who does have a um a teenage girl from the ages of 12 to 18, you can you still have time to sign them up. Um, you can reach out to me. I can give you that link. But it is $60 to sign up. Okay? So Embrace the Queen Within is now virtual. And you just don't have to be in the Houston area. If it, We can do it virtually, y'all. Uh, so we, did they, y'all touching everybody in yeah, the world. Yeah, so if you want to, huh. it's open. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, so over the weekend, uh, GMT Radio opened up a new space, uh, GMT Studio Space. It was the grand opening on Saturday, August 14th. Shout out to GMT. Absolutely. Uh, K Nice, Chris Bryant, my dog, Mika Diamond. Yep. And everybody else who is a part of GMT. Um, that's family over there. Absolutely. So we rocking with y'all. Um, couldn't make it to the event uh, due to unforeseen circumstances. But uh, like I said, we're going to get into that. It is foreseen. We know what's going to happen. Oh, okay. <laughs> we didn't know it was going to happen before. No. But um, the GMT Studio Space does offer, if you would like to record a TV sh- uh, special show, you know, uh, what is it? Advertising. Yeah. Um, classes, commercials. Commercials. That, uh, branding. Yes, classes. They also do podcasts, of course, because we, we did it. We did a podcast yeah, yeah. with GMT. Um, also, radio. And there's a photography. Uh, there's going to be, what, a, a, a photography, a photography studio, studio where you, um, if you are a photographer. You all can go all and you take, need to do so. is bring your camera. Yep. They will provide everything, lights, props, all of that. Absolutely. So if you don't have a studio home for your photography, your videography, um, definitely check out check GMT. Check them out, GMT Studio Space. So, yes, yeah, indeed. so congratulations to K Nice and GMT Radio for um, opening that up and, and letting people um, making it accessible yeah, for to people. those who don't have, uh, don't other uh, otherwise have the resources. To allow people to win. I Absolutely. love it. I love it. I love yes, it. I love it. Goodness. All right. Also, so my last, what you know, good. Um, on August 14th, it was my oldest brother's birthday. So happy birthday to you, brother. Shout out to my brother-in-law, Derek. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, indeed. So happy birthday to you. I hope your day was filled with lots of love and lots of fun. And? That was it. Okay. I just feel like saying and. (laughs) All right. So that's it with my what you know good. I didn't watch any documentary. I probably did. Y'all don't remember. We'll get into why um, things are kind of moving differently right now so absolutely what you know good that's it what you know no good yes indeed so with that being said we're gonna go ahead and step right on to the topic yeah so what the topic for today is gonna be baby it's really real it's really real <laughs> and if y'all don't know what we're talking about 
We talking about this mask on my face. It's really real. It's really real. It's really real. Coronavirus is uh running rampant right now. Very, very. Um, say, watch yourself. And um, I normally don't put my business out, my personal business out on the streets, but um, the reason why I am wearing this mask today and have been for a week now. Yeah. Yes. Um, I actually test tested positive for coronavirus. And um to protect myself and to protect my family, um, I I have been wearing a mask. It seems kind of crazy because I'm wearing a mask in my own house, but I have two small daughters mm -hmm. and I have you to worry about. Mm -hmm. So passing it on to y'all is not an option. So I do whatever it takes for me to keep y'all from feeling what I felt or even worse because um, coronavirus doesn't always look like this. Mm -hmm. A lot of times coronavirus looks like the people that we see in the hospital on their deathbeds begging for life, mm -hmm. um, can't breathe on ventilators and things like that. And I am blessed beyond belief to be one of the ones who caught it but aren't getting the major effects. Mm -hmm. Um, I have been. I I, I um I did notice it. Um, I noticed that I lost my smell and my taste. Mm -hmm. And being me, I'm thinking it's just a cold. That's okay, y'all. So. Um, Brandon was probably walking around with a cold for about a week. Now, why did I think it was just a cold? Because back in June, early July, myself and the girls had the common cold. Absolutely. Um, of course, we took precautions, all that. I stayed away, but while I was staying away, they were still. It was it, we all got sick except for Brandon. So I was thinking, oh, maybe something I didn't clean, you know, it then came back. So, but for a week, Brandon had been sniffing. My nose was running, running. like a mickey. And I thicker. was like, you, it's just your nose. You, you, you. I would, I would. You don't have a temperature. I would touch his head, like all of that, right? Um. So I just thought it was a cold, but I'm making sure. Hey, when you go out, you put your mask on, like mask up. Little did we know that he should have also been wearing it inside. Um. Yeah. So on last Wednesday, Brandon and I went and got tested. Um, why and before I say why are we being transparent because we want people to see that it's real um, and it's not always it's what not, people yeah. think it is um, people have different symptoms but last Wednesday we um, had an appointment and mind you that Tuesday night our appointments have been canceled um, and so we were like panicking because there's not a lot of there's not a lot of tests it's like we had to wait and see like when they are getting these tests in because yeah. everybody because Expe of the Delta everybody variant, is trying to get that rapid everybody test. is trying to get it and um so Wednesday morning the the guy calls and was like well we got in a shipment and if you want to come you come you know on come down. on yeah. I was like okay let me let me hurry up yeah. and then I went to look because um Izzy baby Isabel was um feeling some type of way too and I was like, well, can she take mine? But she couldn't, you know, all this. And so um, turns out once we got our results, and we got our results very, very quickly, that I was negative, Brandon was positive, mask on, mask on, you stay way over <laughs> there. I don't want this. Do you understand? Yeah. I and, and even though I'm, like, saying I don't want it. Um, it's more the girls. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's more like, okay, hold on, y'all. We got to. Um, because it. it all right, so for for me and you, if we catch it, we can we can easily explain to one another how we're feeling, um, and all of the, yeah. the these things. We're gonna get there to yeah. With, with children, it's different. It is different. It's very very different. Man, we found ourselves with Isabel. We found ourselves waking up in the middle of the night. Yeah, I'm tired. Touching our <laughs> head, uh, putting our finger under our nose. It was one of those things like. If you've had a newborn baby, 
and you just constantly checking, you know, you're making sure your baby's a, um mm. your baby is uh breathing. Yeah. It was one of those things and that Wednesday before we had went and got our test, she couldn't stand up, y'all, and Brandon, and body aches. Uh, yeah, Brandon was outside, and so I panicked. I was like, "Isabel, I need you to tell me." And and she was like, "And so, uh, y'all, I had to carry my six year old <laughs> to her bed." And I was like, "Look, you you sit here. If you need anything, mm-hmm. you just call me because what we was not about to happen. But um, what came to she ate." She had she hadn't eaten. She had just woke up, so she ate something. And then when we had went up to the, uh, got our test and everything, it she was okay. But it yeah. was like the panic of it all. Her nose um, was stuffy. Mm-hmm. Um, she had the muscle soreness. The muscle soreness yeah. and her her throat was very very sore. It hurt. This is what she, I'm going off what she told yeah. me. And so um, she did have a fever for the first um, Tuesday. Day, I, I don't remember the days that she'd had the fever, but she did have a fever of like 101. It was it never went over um 101. Um, but it's I would give her um fever reducer so that would break it. And then once that once her fever broke, she was running around here having a good old time. Yeah. But it's really real, it y'all. Is real. Um I know people saying it is not. It is. I don't have any symptoms. I'm taking Every precaution <laughs> that I can, we although we are in. everything natural we can find around here. Although yeah. we are inside. And also, um, I mean, me and Ava, we've all, we all build our immune, immune system. But um, Isabel and Brandon are kind of like, eh, I don't want that. You know, I, if it's, if it's kind of like, if it's healthy, nah, I'm good. I'm being funny, but um, <laughs> I'm not being funny. But Isabel's like. Okay, I need you to take this gummy. I don't want the gummy. I don't want, that. I don't want the gummy. So um, I have been um, beforehand. It has been elderberry. Um, if you don't know what elderberry is, it is a plant. It's a little berry, and um, it helps with your immune system, building your immune system. If you are sick, it it, it helps with that. Um, also, um, knack. Well, I don't know what that what it stands I, for we don't know the technical terms it's a, yeah. uh, but it's an acronym nac and you can find it in sprouts um whole foods yeah, places like it, that you can probably find it at walmart um, as and well. this this um supplement has been used for decades mm-hmm. centuries yeah to fight um coronavirus and and other diseases uh, or viruses that are similar to that uh, as far as respiratory and things like that. So mm-hmm. um, if you don't know about NAC, I highly suggest that you check it out. Um, do your research on what your body can take Absolutely. and what it what it contains and all that. Although it's working for us, it might not, you know, yeah. it Everybody might not be, work. Everybody's right. body is different, just like people are, are, are having more uh, severe symptoms than I am. It's just, it, it, it's no, it, it you never know how things are going to affect you right. until you until it happens, it happens to, you. to you. We've known people close to us who have had it. Yeah. Um, but their experience is way way different than I feel Brandon's. I can't speak for Brandon. I don't know. I'm always just asking, how do you feel? Is your nose okay? Can you taste? Can you smell? Do you smell what I'm cooking in that? You know, I <laughs> can't, smell can't smell anything. I'm like anything. Oh man, it smells real good in here. Yeah, it sure um, it does. I bet Isabel has not. She could still taste because she's still eating her Cheerios and milk every morning. Yeah. Um, so it hasn't come to that. Uh, I don't know if Brandon has had any aches and pains. Um, um, well, I have um, a slight headache comes on every now and again, but it doesn't last long. It's just like a like a pulse type thing. <laughs> Brandon, he needs to sit down, y'all. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, person, because you. Um, Congestion is another big yeah. thing. Um, I have been coughing up phlegm since. Yeah, and I feel like one of our forever. grandmothers. Y'all know how they say when you start coughing up that milk, is that phlegm? It's coming, it's up, coming at up at you. It's coming at you. <laughs> coming at you. <laughs> I've been saying, what color is it? Yeah, yeah <laughs> it's, it's been. If it's clear, <laughs> it's, it's, it's been it's good. yellow, green, and clear. <laughs> I'm like, hey, it's coming up at you. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, one thing with Isabel, she has started to have a cough, but the cough is containing, like, it needs to come out. So yeah. it's like, it's not a dry, you know, that dry cough, but it is like, okay, it's coming. And I feel like, I don't know. Look, I ain't no doctor. I'm so just going I, I did feel the dry cough, uh-huh. but most of it has been wet. wet. You can hear the wet. <laughs> And we're talking about this. This is weird. We just want to be informative. Yeah. Um, I know a lot of times we are always saying how we keep things to ourselves. Well, we're going. We're not really going through. And that's what uh, another thing why we, I guess, we do want to share. We are going through, but we're not going through. Yeah. Brandon can still walk. He needs to sit down, but <laughs> he can still do things. He can still. It's just. Really, a th- and the crazy part about it is this: I was just about to go take a a, mm-hmm. a plumbing slash pipe fitting gig. Yeah, and all of this happened. Right, like oh my gosh, God, what, 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 what? I think this was a a a, a sit me down, so I can realize that uh, it is really real. I mean, I never thought it was fake. I always knew it was real. But it wasn't close to, enough for you to. Are you are you saying you think it was okay? When I go on this job now, I need to have my sanitizer. I all need that. to have my mask on. All that. And when I'm talking to somebody, I ain't pulling it down. Talk. I need to. I need to know. Hey, yeah, yeah. And if you see somebody cough, hey man, you know, let them know. All hey, that. I didn't been like. You are this made, was, made aware. This, 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 this is was what the it way is. to uh, help me open my eyes to the precautions that I need to take. Mm-hmm. Because you're out there and you come back home, it's, and it's Ava, it's Ava and Isabel. And then it, it, it a lot of it, it's not even about protecting other people. It's protecting yourself. Yourself, absolutely, absolutely. You so have how your, much do you care you for your yourself? On your your thing. On a little lanyard. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. So Cause a lot of people out here are thinking now, uh, I'm gonna just put this out here. If you've never had allergies before, if you've never had sinus issues before, and you're feeling it now, it's probably not sinuses and it's probably not uh doggone uh allergies. A lot of people are thinking that uh these symptoms are like uh common cold yes. symptoms. So they're they're just walking around regular. Um, be careful. Well, just really be careful. I know people are saying do not wear your mask, and they're saying if you're vaccinated, you shouldn't. But also, vac- vaccinated people can still be walking around with the virus. They have been known to spread and spread it. They have um, been known to uh, catch it with the virus uh, with the vaccine. And it's not everybody. So it's not everybody, and it, it we can't go walk around thinking that the vaccine is one hundred percent. Yeah, but just really, your the precaution is wear your mask if wear your, your child. Mask. And I know school has started back up. School mm. is still starting back up. Um, make sure that your children understand that hey, the severity. That hey, put your put your mask on. Yes, not it's yes. not about everybody else. It's about protecting you. Mm-hmm. But then it's also like, well, with lunch, you still have to take your mask down and eat. You know, in some teachers' yeah. classrooms, it might be like, well, we're in a safe place. Take your mask off. I would be like, uh, uh-uh, y'all keep your mask on. You know, it's just you can't see it. So how do you know it's safe? Yeah, yeah. Um. So and then you also have people who walk around as, um, asymptomatic, which I thought I was before we got tested, because I was like, yo. And then I was thinking I might have been walking around, had it, before. but didn't right, mm-hmm. but didn't have any um symptoms. And I'm mm-hmm. thinking, like, I got really really scared. <laughs> Not scared, but it was like I was with my mama and my daddy and my sister, and it was like, oh my goodness! Mm-hmm. I you start thinking about you start <laughs> doing the dog on timeline. Was like, Who was I around? When was I around them? How long was I, I was around like, them? Did I touch them? My, my daddy, <laughs> I was, my mama. Like yes, I was like goodness. I felt I didn't. It didn't feel good. 
It still doesn't feel good because, you know, it's, it's yeah. like we expose them to. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I don't want to be the reason somebody's sick. I wouldn't want anybody else to be the reason why, you know, it. but it's it's going to happen. And um, I saw somewhere where they're saying that eventually everybody is just like kind of like the flu. Like if you've never had it, eventually you could, mm-hmm. you know, um, that that's what this could come to. Um if that is, okay, but we still need to take the precautions of wearing our mask, of sanitizing our hands. And also, even when you're out, once you have sanitized your hands and you come home or you're in a public bathroom where there's warm water, make sure you do use soap and water and mm-hmm. you wash your hands for those 20 seconds. You know, wash your hands. If y'all watch PBS Kids and Elmo sings the song, the little song is that long. Make sure you're using warm water and, and, and cleansing your hands. In between... Getting it all done. Just make sure. Um, also, um, I have these bottles. It's called Inside. I think you can find it at Home Depot. You could probably find it at Lowe's. I did see some on that place that we should not be buying things from. I ain't going to call the name, but that man with the space, the owner. Went to, <laughs> well, he ain't the owner no more. But um, there is some of that, and it's called Inside. I-N-C-I-D-E. Now, what does that do? You it and on there it says it cleans um, coronavirus human coronavirus. So what I do, I spray my doorknobs. If I know that Brandon has touched that, I spray it and I wipe the side of the doors, the tables. I'm spraying it down the um, countertops in the kitchen, the microwave, like anything that I know he has touched. Light switches every day. I wipe it down. Um, yeah. If you have, and I, I'm using that, but if you have Clorox wipes, make, make you know, make sure you just like y'all be clean, please, because we don't know how long it stays in the air. Like right now, well, he has his mask on, but right now, I I'm normally have my mask on. The girls have been very good with wearing their mask inside. It's so stupid. It is stupid. It's just so daggone stupid. Stupid. And another thing. I say it's stupid every day. The part that's really killing me is, so people who know me know that I'm an affectionate person. Oh, you can't. You all, I yeah. can't kiss my daughters. I can't <laughs> hug my wife. Did y'all hear that? I can't. His voice changed. Oh, my God. He's struggling. I said. The struggle is real. <laughs> I can't even uh, kiss them good night. I got to stand by the door, stick my head in there, say good night, girls. Uh, yeah. Make me feel some type of way. I can't sleep in my bed. Man, <laughs> she on the couch. This is stupid. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Man. Oh. And if you, if you have ever, so we've been married eight years. It's going on eight. It ain't too many nights that I have slept without you. Right. Man, this, this is stupid. This is super weird. <laughs> I, I wake Man, up, it's just like, super weird. I don't know what to do because our routine is it's thrown, it's thrown off. off. I know what I do when I get out of bed, but getting off the couch, I was like, I'm just uh, gonna sit here. <laughs> yeah. Let me think for a second. <laughs> oh, no, let me just it's weird. Um, so yeah, that was that's been difficult, like you said. Um, I don't kiss the girls at all. I just give them a hug and we go Whoa. on. So if you've noticed that um, in my story that we haven't uh, been reading. It, it, it's just weird. It's just weird. I'm going to read to my daughter with my mask on. Man. Lord have mercy. So it's weird. And then I just want to take the precaution with them. They're, they're good. Um, you don't have to worry about them at all. Uh, um, yeah, they're good. They're okay. They're okay. We're they, all good. They, yes. They're Happy, they're running around, talking, singing, all that, all of that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, they're good. And tomorrow, uh, no, not tomorrow. Today, um, they'll be starting up on a little bit of homeschool. We're not gonna get into full. It's our first day is August thirtieth, but I need them to just get their little minds. Because wrapped around the fact that uh things is about to get uh structured again. Yeah. Yeah. And especially since it's non structure with daddy having <laughs> COVID. Lord, Lord have mercy. 
But like I say, I am blessed to have not uh, be to not be one of the ones who are in the hospital fighting for their lives. Oh my um, goodness! I've been through that, not with uh, COVID, but oh, I've we should been, talk about that next show. Yeah, I've been through uh, fighting for your life in a in a bed, uh, a hospital bed. But um, yeah, it's definitely weird. It's, it's definitely weird. different. Stupid. It's really it's real. stupid. It's stupid. Huh. Um, I do want to say how grateful I am for our mothers, our family. Absolutely. Um, yo. Our circle as well. Oh my god. Because we've had people call. We have people drop off. We have people uh, Thank uh send. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Ooh. also, is the soup helping? Honest. I don't know. I mean, I can taste it better. You can taste it better. I, I'm getting my taste back. So it might, instead of, like, I'm just th- thinking out loud, maybe you just need to um eat soup. Maybe Perhaps. that'll help. You know, anyhow. Perhaps. But, um, yes, I'm very, very grateful for our circle, our families, um, looking out, checking on our wellness, drop the drop-offs, the deliveries. All that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We definitely appreciate you. And um, even though the vaccine is not 100 percent, um, I have been thinking, considering. Y'all, as soon as the beat on get straight, because I can't get the vaccine um, right now because I have been in contact with somebody who, who has. has it. Yeah. I can't get it. But who? Uh, let me tell you. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So what were you saying? I went trying to cut you off. Uh, we're considering getting getting <laughs> a shot. Yeah, especially if I'm going to be out here in uh in people's houses and things like that. Um, I definitely need to protect myself, and I like you said, I don't want to be the one who passes anything on to anybody and gets them sick. Right. So. I'm going to do whatever it takes to uh, keep myself and the people around me safe. And that's just what it is. Because coronavirus is real. It's here. It's running rampant. And everybody want to be outside until it come time. Oh, my gosh. To, uh, it's so many people outside. We are, man, these people are going from I'm outside to pray for me. I'm in the hospital. And it happens rapidly. I just read that an eighth grader in Mississippi, she was just diagnosed, and then the next day she died. Yes, goodness. But I'm like, school just a, started. I, uh, uh, <sighs> in recent news as well, a guy, a flight attendant, took a trip to Hawaii, and he was vaccinated. Mm. Caught it and passed away, I think, a month later. And he was vaccinated. So, even with that vaccine, man, y'all need to stay Wear home. Your mask. Stay home. Because we ain't safe. Because you never know. That, like, it, 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 whether they're walking around and not knowing they have it and have it, or they're walking around, know they have it, and aren't feeling anything, so they feel like it's not real, these people are walking around. What's that song with um, Method Man? Is it real, son? Something you can feel. Is it real, real son? son? Tell me if it's real, son. son. Is it really real, son? Something, something you really can real. feel, yeah. son. <laughs> yeah, you cannot feel it if you are asymptomatic, but you can definitely pass it on. Yeah. So just protect yourself. Even if the person next to you don't care about their health, I do. Because look here, right when we this go off, I'm putting my mask on. Straight up. Uh, we're going to be walking around the house with our mask on. Mask on. I'm okay with that. Mask on. It might be stupid, but I'm okay with that. Yeah. Absolutely. But, uh, yeah. So I think that's going to wrap us up for coronavirus. <laughs> yes, goodness. Um, Hey, just take the proper precautions to do what you need to do. But uh, before we go ahead and get up out of here, we're going to bust y'all in the head real quick with On This Day in Black History. So today is August 16th, 2021. It is. Yes, it is. <laughs> but on August 16th, 1963, 
the first U.S. postal stamp designed by a black artist was placed on sale. Man, hold up. We making major moves. Uh, and, uh, yeah, it's goodness. But anyway, this uh, article is brought to you by BET.com. We'll make sure we inform you guys on where our sources are coming from. So, BET.com is the source. On the first, the first U.S. postal stamp designed by a black artist was placed on sale on August 16, 1963. Graphic artist George Olden featured a broken chain on the stamp to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the Ma Emancipation Proclamation. Olden's design was praised by then-President John F. Kennedy as a rem reminder of the extraordinary actions in the past as well as the business of the future. And that was short and sweet. Very, very short and sweet. <laughs> Straight but, to the point. Yes, yeah, goodness. But that's what happened today on this day in black history. Yes, goodness. Um, Like always, we appreciate everyone for tuning in and continuing to support the Stocker family values and Is My Point Valid? You lost your train of thought? Yeah, I did. Yeah. But uh, that, that, that dog on mask be throwing me off. I'm looking at this mask. Yeah, I thought I was but, um, playing. <laughs> yes. Uh, we'll be back next Monday with a hot new topic, brand new episode. So y'all uh, be sure to tune in and catch us next Monday on Is My Point Valid. We'll catch y'all next Monday. See y'all later. Bye! Bye.